Hi and welcome back to Wapla Unwrapped. This is lesson two in the basic series and we're going to look at the original bootstrap table that we created in lesson one. We're going to enhance it a little by adding in sortable headers and search facilities. So let's get straight down to business. We're going to start at the server connect side of things and over here with our original query all unis we're simply going to add two parameters to the get section. So we're going to right click, we're going to say add variable and we're going to create two variables. One will be called sort and the second will be called dir for direction. And these variables will be used to pass the direction of the sort and the field to be sorted to the server connection. That's all we need to do at that end. Now we're going over at the app connect. We need somehow to interface this page with the server side and what we do is we use something called a state management. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to our page a state management module, query manager, we're going to call that unisort and within there we're going to, we would create the sort and directory. Now I'm going to apologize here, those two are already created from a, a previous test run. I'm just going to take them out and let's put them back in. So we would add variable and this one will be called sort in exactly the same as we did with the get parameters and we're going to add a variable and this one is going to called direction. Save that. And they will add, add they will work as a connection between the page and the database connection. Having done that now, we can go back to the bootstrap table. Let's run the bootstrap table and now we'll tell it we want sortable headers. The state management will be conducted by that uni sort that we've just created and the parameters we'll be using will be sort and direction. Let's save that. You'll see already the little arrows that have appeared at the top of the screen. But there's one more thing that we need to do. What we need to do is bind that state manager that, to the server connect. And we do that up here. So the sort will simply use the sort. Direction will simply click direction. Let's save that. Let's open that in the browser. What we see now is that we can sort any of those columns simply by checking, checking the small arrows at the top of the columns. How easy was that? Quite amazing. That is the awesome power of Wapler. So let's now make this a little more intelligent. Let's add some text searching. A little more complex, but not seriously so. We're going to go over and do the server connect side of things first. Let's go over to get and we're going to create just one more variable and we're just going to call that filter. And again, that will be used to pass the filter that we select in the page over to the database query so we can reduce the number of records found. So, okay, that's that, that side of things done. Now, what we need to do is actually put a search form on the screen. So, there we're in the container. I'm going to just ask it to insert before another container. Within that container, we'll put a row and a column. And now we need to insert a form. So, let's go into forms and we're just going to it's put in a simple basic form. Within that form, again, we're going to go in and we're just going to put a simple input form group. That gives us some headers we can play with. The uh, label for it, let's call it uh, search. The actual search box itself, we'll, we'll call that filter to match the get that we put in earlier. And I've, I've, It's just a habit of mine, I tend to use ID and name is the same, strictly not necessarily. And then lastly, 
we also have the facility for some help tasks text my apologies so let's just change that to input a search term there we now have form we can also add a placeholder and we're going to call that search term so now we have our form on screen ready to link it to that bootstrap table so we can search so I'm just going to save that first I'm now going to go back to our server connect and I'm going to go back to our database query we're going to add one small thing to that we're going to go into conditions we're going to select the column in this case we'll say university name and we can say contains and then we're going to select that filter get value that we created earlier we can if we could if we want add a second condition and say perhaps um, city contains or postcode contains but let's keep it straightforward for the moment so okay we'll save that and then the last thing we need to do now is to pass the contents of that search term over to our database query so it can be filtered and we do that back at server connect yet again what we find now is that I'll take that out because again that's left from a, a previous dry run shall we call it you will see now that filter appears within those parameters and that's linked with the filter that we put in the server connect stage so we click on that and in this case we're going to be setting it to sorry the, the text input value and so that's obviously the contents of whatever we put in for the search term let's save that and then let's fire up the web browser let's say we want to look for Leeds University you'll see that almost instantly as soon as we type in a search term then the list is filtered and it allows us to see only the records that match the search term just try that again let's see uh, my hometown of Newcastle there we are Newcastle College Newcastle University amazingly powerful facilities that's searching that's sorting with literally a few clicks going back to my uh, counter here under eight minutes we've added those facilities um, I've never known a product that could do it like that so please come back for lesson three and I'll be showing you how to add pagination.